Welcome to the Fundamental Rule of Counting video for MathCelebrity.com. I'm Don Subsick, founder of Math Celebrity. In the next three minutes, I'm going to teach you about the Fundamental Rule of Counting and when and why you would use it. So first, they also call this a rule of product and for good reason. Because you're going to find how many ways you can do, organize, or arrange something. In other words, how many outcomes are possible. And they get the name rule of product because you're going to take all the types involved and you're going to multiply them together to get your answer. Some example problems are how many fruit arrangements can you put in a basket? How many possible pizza toppings or pizzas can you make? How many players on a team given a certain type of player? Let's walk through an example. We've got five different pizza toppings available for a pizza. Onion, green pepper, bacon, sausage, and artichoke. We also have two different types of crust you can order, thin crust and deep dish. And the problem asks, how many different types of pizzas can we make? To answer this, we're going to use the fundamental rule of counting, or the rule of product. We have five potential pizza toppings, and we have two possible crust types. So, we have 10 different types of pizzas because we multiply our five different pizza toppings times our two possible crust types to get 10 different pizzas. And if you want to think about this, each different type of crust has five different toppings, so that's five, plus five is 10. So there's a few ways to think about this, but the fastest way is you multiply each of the different types of inputs to get your total outcome. Let's look at another common example. Multiple choice questions on an exam. We have six multiple choice questions on our quiz. Each answer has four different possible multiple choice types. The question asks, how many different answer sets can we have? So how many different ways can we answer this exam? Well, the answer is four times four times four times four times four times four or 4 raised to the 6th power, and that equals 4,096 possible answer sets. Now, how did we get that? Well, if we have 6 multiple choice questions, right, and each question has 4 different possible choices, we'll just say A, B, C, D. If you've got 4 on this question, 4 on this question, 4 on this question, each question is independent of the last. And so we multiply six questions with four possible types, answer types, and we get our 4,096 possible answer sets. So that is the basics of the fundamental rule of counting or the rule of product. Now, what if you have additional rule of counting problems you need help with? Well, I've created a calculator for you. Now, if you're on the Math Celebrity website, you know how to reach this calculator. If you're just finding us on YouTube, I'm going to put a link to this calculator in the description. For the calculator, you're going to do two things. You're going to separate each event type by a comma, and you're going to add in all the events. So let's go ahead and take a look at the calculator. We've got six different types of apples, five different types of oranges, and three different types of fruits. How many different combinations can we make? So we're going to hit this Calculate Choices button, and it's going to walk through the fundamental rule of counting, or the rule of product, and it's going to say the total choices are found by taking the product of each choice. So we have six apples times five oranges times three fruits gives us 90 total choices. So anytime you want to use the fundamental rule of counting calculator, you just put in your choices here and separate each one by a comma. Once you're done, click the Calculate Choices button and it will walk you through step by step the fundamental rule of counting. So that is it for the rule of product. I want to thank you for spending time with me today on this video and I will see you in the next video.